question is, why study the neuroscience of decision making at all? Why are we interested in those mechanisms? And should people be interested in those mechanisms? And that's, it's not an obvious answer to that question. Some people would say they're not very interested in it. So most of my economist colleagues would say, I don't really care about the mechanisms in the brain. I get massive amounts of data, actual behavioral observations. I use that to make some sort of model and, and I can detect these regularities in choices. And as long as I can predict those people's future choices, I don't really care how the brain does it. And that's a legitimate point of view. Or you could try to understand fundamental decision-making mechanisms in the brain and decision-making mechanisms that apply across all circumstances. If we really understand those mechanisms, then we don't have to sample every group in every situation. We can use those general principles to predict what's going to happen. So that's one answer, and that's a neuroscientist answer, and I'm a neuroscientist.